Hello everybody and welcome your faces back to another crypto jet video where today we're going to be doing a top-down analysis of ZEC or Zcash, one of the few uh, privacy coins on the whole market. So if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and drop me a question down below. Let's move straight on to the technicals after which we're going to take a look at the project, some news and what's happening in general with this Zcash. Now, we're on the week weekly time frame. Doing a top-down analysis means you're going from the highest possible time frame to the lowest possible time frame. So we have info here on TradingView uh, using Binance's uh, information from 18th of March 2019. And we can see somewhat of a price floor. Now, can you guess when this price floor happened? Yes, you were right. It was in March of 2020 when the coronavirus pandemic began. Uh, ever since then, the price actually started increasing uh, very steadily, partly due to uh, Bitcoin's halving in May of 2020 and uh, the general hype for cryptocurrencies increasing as countries around the world started uh, using new types of economic policies, uh, inflationary policies to try and tackle uh, the loss of uh, employment uh, and generally less uh, product being produced in a, every economy because of the coronavirus pandemic. Simply when you have most of the country sitting at home, not working, your GDP is going to fall and you're going to have to have new measures for uh, dealing with it. And uh, the US, for example, since the dollar is the most widely used currency in the world, the US, uh, and by widely used, I mean a lot of uh, currencies are pegged to it and it's sort of a, uh, an identifier of value, right? So the US usually deals with these problems by simply printing money you know, you may have seen those memes, uh, money printer go brrr. And uh, yeah, so we're on the weekly time frame. We can see a very steady growth since the beginning of January of this year. Uh, very nice growth, almost quadrupled in price, actually. Uh, it did quadruple in price, but it came back down, corrected in this past week. Now, this week may have been a large correction for you, but it is completely normal on the market when you have a... Uh, length of see look at this growth 140 dollars to 300 dollars that's a two times growth in three weeks so in almost a month and then when we experience a correction which is like a 50 percent correction everyone's losing their minds whereas it's actually com completely normal to correct this way now looking at the daily time frame we can see uh just how beautiful this uptrend actually is kind of broken down once but i'm not going to pay attention to that too much we have formed a zone of support down here, almost around the $200 mark. Could be a psychological zone or just uh, generally people really wanted to sell at that zone uh, in the past, meaning that they thought the coin was overvalued then. But currently, uh, there's a lot of buying pressure for this coin at this same mark. As you can see with these two massive uh, wicks at the bottom of these two red candles, it's signifying... Uh, a loss of bearish momentum and actually buyers pushing the price all the way back up because they want to re-enter the market at a better price. Now, this is retail traders. This is institutions. This is pretty much anyone investing into cryptocurrency these days. The thing with crypto these days is that it's uh, getting to a point where a lot of people actually are starting to know about it, but still not even 10% of people know about cryptocurrency, let alone are invested in it which is why I believe this bull run is going to last quite a long time, definitely longer than last year's, uh, sorry, not last year's, than the last uh, bull run of 2017. Now, what can I see for this price? We can see a all-time high reached at the $300 mark. So that's a very psychologically significant area, reached it and immediately triggered a sell-off in the market. People are simply taking profits from this run, from this run, from this run, Entrants could have entered the market at any point uh, through this uh, beautiful uh, display of growth of this coin. They could have entered anywhere and uh, simply when the price increases uh, twofold, one and a half fold, even by 50% as a trader, you're going to want to exit with some profit. Now, what can I see for this coin in the future? Uh, I'm going to cover the fundamentals. It's one of the only privacy coins in the world, so you can actually... Uh, keep your transactions hidden, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later. What I can see is the four hour chart where we can notice 
a bullish momentum forming. So you can see this uh, bearish candle right here and a much bigger uh, bullish candle. Well, this bullish candle right here is called a bullish engulfing pattern. So that happens when you have a bullish candle way bigger than the previous bearish one. So it's pretty much signifying a change of structure, a change in the trend. It's not going downwards anymore. The trend is still upwards, mind you. So somebody taught me this once before. If you notice the price on your chart going from the bottom left into the top right, it's an uptrend. If you notice it going from the top right to the bottom left, then it's in a downtrend. Now we can zoom in enough to actually see somewhat of a downtrend right here. But in the grand scheme of things, this coin is still is an up, in an uptrend and this is just a simple correction. What can we see from the price? We can see it keep moving up here, hit into this zone of resistance, possibly consolidate or even move a bit down, but eventually break the zone of resistance, retest it and uh, slowly make its way through all of these resistances into the previous all time high. Now, on the other hand, if it does uh, find strong resistance, as I may suspect it will around uh, this area right here, because you can see how many touches they have one touch, almost two, three, four from the top, uh, a break and sort of a consolidation. Uh, this is known as indecisiveness in the market. And then we can see another consolidation here, another touch simply is going to be hard for buyers to push the price over this. But the only other scenario that I can see is the price actually lingering along this uh, sort of zone in a much bigger consolidation before actually having an abrupt move upwards. Now, let's cover the project a little bit. Uh, Zcash is very similar to Monero or XMR. We actually covered that a few days ago, so please check it out. Uh, they are very similar coins in the sense that they are both uh, very confidential. So they work in slightly different ways, but their goal is that when you send money, when you receive money, when you make a transaction, when you do anything on the Zcash network using Zcash coins, your transactions will be encrypted, meaning nobody, no third party, not even you can verify that the transaction happened before. Not sure about this last part, but uh, that's how it is. Uh, in general, you're not going to want to hide transactions from yourself anyways. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But the most important thing here is that it's very easy to buy Zcash, very easy to get a wallet and the transaction fees are low and the transaction speeds are high. So this offers the perfect uh headway for people who want to use the dark web, for example, and purchase illegal substances off of it. Okay, I'm kidding. But as I made a, an example before for the Monero thing, uh, Zcash as well, there's always going to be uh, good people and bad people in our society. So even guns, right? You have the whole police force in the USA, in every country carrying guns. And by pure logic, these guns are being used for good to protect us, the normal people from bad guys or thieves or serial killers, etc. Right. But on the other hand, if you give a gun to a thief or a serial killer, they're going to go and they're going to, you know, do some crazy stuff with it. So the same is with Zcash. You can give this coin to people who will do good with it and people who will do bad with it. The only reason why I'm saying is, is that the biggest argument against these currencies and uh, the biggest source of bad news and food, as we call it, FUD in the crypto world, that's slang for bad news, uh, is basically because people are afraid of these private transactions. But with enough regulation in the future, and I don't mean regulation from the government side, I mean regulations uh, from actual Zcash, once they figure out a way to filter these users and make it only available to people who want to actually use it for good purposes, that's when this coin is going to become the next big big thing, even though it is already, but it's going to skyrocket in market cap once something like that happens. And we're going to see, is uh, Zcash going to get, get it first? Is Monero going to get it done first? We never know. So a bit about the uh, technology, uh, essentially it works with... Uh, these private addresses and shielding of these shielding of your address. So we can view these examples, but 
Uh, I don't really understand how the technology works, to be completely honest with you. And my internet's not loading right now. But this is a TTT transaction and works just like Bitcoin. So the sender receiver, everything is publicly visible. But when you move to a shielded address, then nothing is visible. So you actually have the choice with Zcash whether or not you want your transaction to be visible. And this is why these private addresses or Z addresses like Zcash are amazing. So this is, if I'm not mistaken, the only coin out there that allows you to choose whether or not you want to have your transaction shielded. That's why it's beautiful. Now there's a lot of uh, benefits to it, low fee transactions, uh, 0.0001 Zcash, that's nothing. Privacy, encrypted memos, uh, viewing keys, payment disclosure, etc., etc. Uh, I think we covered Zcash enough. Let me know if I was wrong at any part of the video. Let me know if you have a question down below. And I think I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.